Building DIY Sustainable Eco Villages. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 390. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is September 13th, 2020 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is building do-it-yourself sustainable eco-villages. This is what One Community is about. We are building DIY sustainable eco villages, and everything you see happening in the background of the video here is what we've designed to this point. We think we've got a couple more years before we're ready to start construction, uh, but we are deeply into the process, and obviously, we have done an immense amount of work preparing for the day when we can bring our team together on the property and start construction and open source and free share everything necessary to replicate all that you see in the background of this video and so much more than that. Even the city center, even the city center, you know, which is the, you know, three huge geodesic domes, 75 foot diameter domes, 35 foot high ceilings, four stories as a do-it-yourself project. We have done extensive research and design to make sure that all the structures that we're building are DIY replicable. You know, and so, and we're doing this because we know that we can create a sustainable world if we can make our model for sustainable communities self replicating. And we're doing that by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating them as attractive enough, the way of life as attractive enough and better than the, better as improved enough upon the way that people are living right now so that people want to make the change, to take the time and the energy once they understand exactly how much it'll cost, exactly how many hours of labor it would take and replicate it around the world, working together in cooperation and collaboration to build a better world for all of us. So building DIY sustainable eco-villages for us is much, much bigger than just the infrastructure. It's about the sharing infrastructure. It's about the collaboration infrastructure. It's about the cooperation infrastructure. It's about the lifestyle that will promote the whole idea by demonstrating it as a better way of living than most people are living right now. And so when we talk about sustainability, we talk about physical sustainability, which most people just think about the food, the energy, the housing, but we're also adding to that the emotional sustainability components, fulfilled living practices, highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics and true earth stewardship, putting all of this together to create a way of life that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living and building it so that people can experience it. So people can come and visit and see what it is that we're doing. Live in an earth bag home. Live in a straw bale home. Live in a cob home. Live in a shipping container home. Experience these villages, the recycled materials village. Come and stay in these things. See what they're all about. See what the experience is. Understand why the radical sustainability would benefit them, them you, individually. And then saying, hey, everything that you see is open source and free shared so that you can replicate it if you want right down to every plant grown, to the education model, to the social architecture, and the recreational aspects. But if you want this lifestyle, build a complete model. Build a teacher demonstration hub. Either a teacher demonstration hub to teach others how to build teacher demonstration hubs, or build what is a teacher demonstration hub just for you and your friends and your family so that you can live off grid and replicate this. You know, and as we do this, we're creating the infrastructure and the models necessary to take this idea into cities as well, to be able to retrofit buildings, to be able to retrofit things like malls, create rooftop gardens, parking lot gardens, turn these wastelands, what are becoming wastelands because people aren't visiting them anymore, especially now in COVID, but the, the mall was already dying. So what are we going to do with those structures? Well, one thing we could do with them is turn them into sustainable community models, examples of highest good living. Examples of sustainable living, examples of people living a better, more holistic life. Examples of a DIY sustainable eco-village in the heart of a city, if that's what people want. So one community is putting all the different components together to create that. DIY sustainable eco-villages, do-it-yourself, 
replicable villages. And every component is designed to be modular as well. So for people that are like, I don't want to build an eco village. Are you kidding? I just want to build a sustainable home or I just want to grow a garden or I just like better education for my kids. Well, all of our components are designed so they can be replicated as individual components as well to meet that need also. And as we build the villages, as we open source everything, we're open sourcing all those specifics and open sourcing it so that it can be replicated as individual components. So when we build a straw bale village, it'll be very easy to replicate the various components of that as individual homes as well. As we build the earth bag village, we're designing it and it's being, and it'll be built so that people can replicate just an individual home and they don't have to replicate the whole village or so they can replicate just the net zero bathroom, you know, or just the vermiculture bathroom or the communal showers or even just the tropical atrium. All of it replicable, all of it DIY, all of it for the highest good of all people in life on this planet. This is our idea for creating a better world for everybody. And our all-volunteer team has been working at it now for 10 years. We've had over 500 volunteers contribute to the project to get us to where we're at. And uh, yeah, once it's done, you'll be able to visit and experience everything that, everything that you see here on the website and so much more. And so, and for the people that are really, really dedicated to this and want to come and join us, you know, we, we're creating a place where people with like values, sharing the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet that really want to dedicate their lives to creating a better world for everybody can come and live on one community property, on the one community property, be a part of the collaborative team and do this as a lifestyle which I've been doing now for the last 10 years, but bringing us together in community is a whole nother level of creating the social architecture, the fulfilled, fulfilled living aspects of it, and being able to collaborate in real space together rather than our virtual collaboration that spans the globe and has had members on every continent other than Antarctica contribute to what it is that we're doing, you know, but we could be so much more effective in real space together and working on collaborating on these. And so that is what one community will be, a place for people to come together to create a better world for everybody and to share that with the public so that anyone who's interested can come and experience it and see what we're up to as well and replicate it in whatever way works best for you. So that's our idea for changing the world. This is our weekly progress update. Visit our website for this week's weekly progress update that has every volunteer's contribution to the project, an overview of all that. Stick around for another couple minutes if you'd like to see uh, more details on each of the different components of our project. And until next week, we will, of course, Keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.